Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 features, part 8, null conditional operator, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn another important feature in C Sharp version 6 that is null conditional operator, and let us understand it very clearly here. Um, in the C Sharp version 5, I think we all of us had heard about the null reference exception and how do we handle them? We use enormous if conditions for null checking and that's what we did in the C Sharp version 5 and here is an image which explains you clearly. What I'm having here in this picture is I'm having a class called person and I'm having a property name and I've assigned the value to null for name. And right now what I'm doing in the main method, I'm creating an object of the class person and I'm checking if that uh, property name is null or not. If it is not null, then return the person with that name. Uh, otherwise, tell the user the name is null. Okay, that's what we did in C Sharp version 5. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll code that part. Okay, let me uh, create a class public person. Okay, let me create a property um, string name let me give it in the caps okay done okay let me assign the value to it as null right now what I'll do in my main method is I'll create an object of that class person is equal to new person okay now what I'll do I'll use if loop to check whether that person dot name is not equal to null Okay, if it is not equal to null, then return that person dot return the name of that person present in, present in that person class. Okay, else tell him the name is null. Okay, right now what I'll do let me remove this null right now and let me assign something called Angpro Technologies. Okay. Right now when I run this program it should print Angpro Technologies on the console screen because the name property is null. It's not null now. Right now. Let me make it null and let me run this program. Control F I yes then it's returning that name is null okay that, that's what we did uh, in the C sharp version 5 we used multiple uh, enormous if conditions for null checking but coming to C sharp version 6, 6 we can use the special null conditional operator we, here you can observe the question mark and followed by the full stop to check uh, if an instance is null or not right now to understand that I'm having an image of that program here you can observe uh, as usual the same previous example I'm having a class person and the property is name and I've assigned it to null right now and I'm in the main method I'm creating an object coming in the C sharp version 5 you can observe in this part what we are doing we are using if else part to check the null condition but here you can observe we are using the null conditional operator what we are doing is we are checking whether the person is null if it is not null then return the name property otherwise tell him that the name is null this is what the specialty of the null conditional operator present here and right now we'll jump into visual studio and we'll code that part it's very simple let me cut this piece of code if else code and let me write let me create a name variable called name equals what I'm doing I'm checking that person using this conditional operator this is a special operator like question mark followed by the full stop it's a null conditional operator returns the name okay returns the name else this will return the string telling that name is null okay this is what the speciality of this null conditional operator present here you can observe the question mark followed by the full stop and the double question marks this is the special null conditional operator present in C sharp version 6 now let me go and print that name variable right now it's null the property name is assigned to null when I run it it will tell the name is null but let me assign it some value okay and here let me assign Hank Pro Technologies Okay, 
now when I run this program it should return like Anchor technologies that's what we did in this piece of po uh, this piece of code what we wrote here is we are writing a condition for null checking and that we wrote using the null conditional operator special operator present here and that's what we learned in this session and here is the piece of codes for both of the program like in the course code in C sharp version 5 and in the code in the C sharp version 6 and here we made use of the null conditional operator and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Anchor training and we are also on facebook you can follow or like us a page visiting this url www.facebook.com slash training and we are also on twitter for further references we can visit you can visit our websites and we are on linkedin too and finally don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day